So today we're going to be doing adding and subtracting decimal models. And just as a refresher, this is one whole. This is worth one. And this is worth tenths, one tenth. One long one is worth ten of these, or tenths. And one is worth a hundredth. So whenever you're looking at addition and modeling, you want to show what's there. So if you want to show eight tenths, you want to shade eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And shade along with me. And then five tenths is one, two, three, four, five. And then if you count all those up, 8 plus 5 is 13 tenths. So it's going to be one whole. And then how many out of the next one? 3. And if you shade a 5 and then shade 8 more, this is what you would get. And so your total is 1 and 3 tenths. Now, if you're doing hundredths, you're going to show 18 on this, so this is 10, and then this is another 8, so that's 18, and then you're going to show 25, so that combined is 18. plus 25, so that's 2, 12, 22, 23, 24, 25. And if I count all those up, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 3, 43. So my answer is 43 hundredths. Now watch out, 3 tenths is the same as 3 long bars or 30 hundredths. So you need to shade all of those, shade 30 of them, and then shade 22 and show your answer here. So pause and then um, and, and shade this one. Okay, subtraction, go ahead. Subtraction is a little different. You're going to show 9 tenths, so this would be 9 tenths. And then you're going to loop and pull two tenths. So what's left is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tenths. So you have to show it. You have to show that there's nine tenths and two tenths goes away. And you can do the same thing with this grid. Um, with this one, remember it's 1 and 30 hundredths. Take away 40 hundredths. So you'll show that on here. So go ahead and do that and then come back whenever you're done. Now you're going to do a lot of adding and subtracting without models. And so to add or subtract decimals, um, you have to line them up in the same place value. And the most important thing when adding or subtracting decimals is to line up the decimal points. And so tomorrow you'll practice modeling and then there will actually be some problems where you have to line up the decimal points, line up um, to add, line up to subtract. 